All right, here's the five phase stator. Okay, just a quick lay. Um, the stator is it's built out of uh, 20 coils. Each coil has 100 turns and it's 18 gauge wire. And it's configured, I don't know if you call it a uh, star point, but uh, it has a um, neutral point, the other five faces, phases, and the other fa five phases are uh, lead, are going to a rectifier. So the rectifier, one, two, three, four, five is converting it into DC, we rectify it into DC, and the DC is coming out and right now it's giving me 29 volts at a half amp and one hundred and eighty five RPM so at hundred and eighty five RPM I'm getting twenty nine half amp again I'm using the Xantrax charge controller and wired like so to charge 24 volt battery bank that's 24 uh, 12 24 and the other two I could not get it past quarter amp without dumping the load but for some reason, using the five-phase alternator, not that it may, may make a difference because it's only two leads coming out of DC. But I was able to get it going at half a amp charging and without uh, going crazy and dumping the load. So, five-phase stator. 20 coils, two discs, each disc has 24 magnets, so at 185 RPM, it's giving me 29. Um, to turn the alternator 73 watts so to turn the alternator it's costing me 73 watts and I know for a fact that to spin that motor the tape motor freewheeling 8 watts so we can make, work out the numbers so anyway I'm not sure. I'll look at the videos again and uh, see which one fits the best.